good stuff. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying the tournament so far. Uh, if you do, and you want to show it, and you really want to show it, you could follow my channel. You could also follow Chicken Man's channel, who's here could. casting with me. He's live as well. Yeah. Could you go check us out? We're playing Storm. Check Gate. out the Matcherino wanna... too, if you really enjoy it. Check this. out the Matcherino. That's the big part that I was getting to before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's my bad. Bye. Bye, Chicken Man. Nope, that's okay. You just say whatever the hell you want, man. I will. That's 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 what we're doing here. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and get started in this game, though, because we have already got buildings going down, and I feel like if we don't hurry it up, we're going to get left behind. In the bottom left-hand corner of Isle of Dread, representing Team Aftermath, it is Snockstar. Threw me off there. I was definitely focusing on the other base. Uh, in the upper right hand corner is Vanguard opponent. It is a Parsible. Nice. You immediately Bob overcharged and built the barracks. Bob. Yeah, yeah. So he's done that all the game so far. The, the Bob overcharged at the very start of every game just to get those guys moving a little quicker. Yeah. yeah, I think you have to as Vanguard right now. Your, your first cool. units, like, you need to be able to start creeping straight away. Yeah. The Lancer heading across the map, not going for extra dogs in uh, this game against the Infernals. So I don't know the meta of this matchup. But oh, you I know. do. You do. Oh, yeah. So Percival is going for... The, you can technically clear the health camp with one Lancer. As you see, the Lancer here actually hits all four of those slimes with one swing. Oh, that's Check pretty big. One. So he's actually able oh to clear God. that pretty quickly. That's crazy. Um, now, this is a really gonna, it's gonna be so interesting because Percival is the number one Vanguard on the ladder right now. Yeah. And I think Snockstar is the number one Infernal versus Vanguard player specifically. He has like a 91% win rate versus Vanguard. Jesus. This man has invented the meta of how to play versus <laughs> Vanguard quite literally. And you see it happening right here, right now. He's going for the Nightfall infestation. He does lose one of the fiends. A little bit of a mistake there from him. But now he's just up to so many of these fiends. And he's going to run them across the map. He's going to go for the Therium base. He does the same thing. He actually makes it a bit closer to the Therium side as opposed to the Luminite side. Yeah, taking maybe a bit of hit on Luminite mining to get that quicker Therium. I mean, you do get a double Luminite base as your third, potentially, so see why you might okay. like to do that. Snockstar is going to try and go in. He does have a surround on those Lancers, but he actually chooses not to do it here. He doesn't want to lose these Fiends. I think the Fiends are definitely way more valuable as a harassment force not going to be good to trade them out too early here as he goes in he Ooh. tries to start attacking some of these bombs with percival's micro it was really nice so he was he was diving yeah. for the scout and the full surround of the yeah. bobs repairing it actually saved it and saved the bobs as the fiends just kind of herp derped around them for a minute yeah i mean you can absolutely you can just lose this game if the fiends get a solid surround on your units and yeah. you don't have enough to support them and it's just like oh well gg go to the next one yeah, and we see that but back and Percival, forth happening look right at this. now. Whoa. He takes the flower just so that, you know, none of the fiends can heal back up. It's a low HP, right? Like, the fiends only have 60 total, but that is that's something. And yeah. Percival, one of the only vanguards, I think, has been able to continue creeping against Snockstar's build here. So, fascinated to see how this turns out it's some really nice micro out of percival though. because these fiends are they are itching they are looking for a surround they're looking oh, for yeah. a unit on its own <clears throat> and percival is so far not let it happen and yeah like you said continuing to creep continuing to stay active on the map even not losing the speed camp right now as he sees where this little uh, fiend is. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe. He, he is going to, you know, the fiends going into the main there. He's going to move those lancers. It's more important that he doesn't lose any bobs. So he wants to send them over. And Snarkstar is going to see, okay, Percival, he's he's on one base. He's not making any further ones. What is he, what's the play here? What does he decide to go for? Back at home, he does clear away those two, the, a couple of those trees. And he is going to jump on top of this energy camp here. Just again, get a little bit of free income. 
Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, a big engage against these Exos. He's actually going to lose three of them. Some overcharged Bobs coming out to play. They will do pretty well here, but the Fiends, the TPS is so high. Yeah, and the Fiends are going to run by a couple more units. A couple more will go down. And the Bobs are going to start many on them. that base. I really like that Percival did the Bob overcharge before sending these Bobs mm -hmm. out to build the next base. Just a good move there, yeah. and it, it kept them alive for sure, because those Fiends would have just killed them without that. Oh yeah, they would have died very quickly, and he gets the full benefit of that increased, or that reduced rather construction time. The uh, of the, that base. The nice thing there for Snockstar as well, though, is he pulled these units away from the energy camp. Percival cleared it, but did not capture it because he had to come home to defend. So he still hasn't captured that. That is just sitting there untaken. Oh, and now Snocks are going to try to jump on top of this as he was trying to clear the creep. Can Percival get to the health camp? I feel like that will help him a lot. FG oh, does drop he can. down. Oh, he can't keep getting away with this. Look at how <laughs> low HP so many of those units are, but he just micros them so nicely to keep them alive, regen them on the health camp, and now he's going to re-engage into this Luminite camp here. Snoxar did get to kill the big one, though. That's a lot of money for him. Yeah. He's going to try to take this engagement. I think he got even another one, and it looks like he's going to be able to maybe capture this. I don't know. Percival is pushing really hard on it. He wants to contest this. Yeah, and he's going to split those fiends, and that is the sign that it is time to go home. Yeah, Effigy gets taken out. These gaunts falling maybe yeah. a little far behind. Be a yeah, I mean, here. it's only... Sh it would only be a couple of them lost. They're... they're not the fastest, but they're not super slow. Yeah, now with a couple more brutes out, he is going to turn around and take this fight. Maybe Percival overextending Ooh. a little bit. Oh, and a few of these Lancers getting caught, having to split out the other direction. Uh, but these Exos like, are X's still doing a great here. job. His Lancer micro is just, it's too good. It's kind of insane. It's, it's actually too good. It's so good. Like, this is nuts. He will clear up a couple of those extra ones there, but the Exos have largely remain oh, uninhibited. No, oh, no. Ooh, a he's going to stomp his way through, get into the health camp, and drops the Shroud Stone. Gonna try to push away Percival here, but we might be in too compromised of a position. Yeah, these Exos are really doing just comes so, down so to well. And again, so many of them have that high veterancy, which is so, so crucial this stage of the game. But finally, one does yeah. get taken out. These Lancers are getting pretty low, and that means more Fiends coming up for Snockstar as well. I mean, get. I feel like he's just got to try to get home here. There's no Shroud Stones down, though. I'm a little bit worried. What is the progress of this fight going to be? Yeah, the Imps could come out to play for a little bit, there's but there's the, the, stone, the, yeah, the Emergency Stone coming out. Break, breaking the emergency seal, and that's going to send these Exos back. And the Lancers are all gone, so the Exos just have to stutter step backwards. Ooh, if he can Ooh. even get that one oh, level three, that was man. pretty big. Another level one as well. He's actually going to run forward. The Reaper's Rush, you can see, is finished, so these Exos can't actually run away from these Gaunts. And Percival has overstayed his welcome as he falls in supply, and losing those high veterancy units is just so crushing for Vanguard right now. Yeah, he pushed in a little bit too far there, thought his advantage maybe was a little bigger than it was. Snockstar defends. That upgrade finishing as well, so the Gaunts can just chase those Exos down. Beautiful timing there for Snockstar in what looked like it could have been a tough position. Absolutely agree on that one. Somehow, though, Snockstar bullying it out there. I think that Superstone dropping really turning that mm. fight there. The Superstone, by the way, if you want to know a little bit of details oh, about yeah. it. Okay. 100% increased damage and 100% increased attack rate. Wow. That's actually a 200% DPS increase, buddy. That's, it's, if it's 100 times 100, that's a 10,000. It's over 9,000 oh damage a God. second. That's you drop incredible. that Shroud Stone, and it, the game actually, it just immediately goes to the victory screen yeah. for whoever did that first. <laughs> the game's over. Yeah, it's just done. Crazy. I realize I have not had music playing in-game the whole time. Oh, uh, well, damn. Well, it's okay. <laughs> This is this, listen, guys. This is our first Stormgate uh, official tournament yeah. here, and you know there's some <laughs> there's some bugs in game and out of game. No, no, no. 
I, yeah, I, I've just had it off. Yeah, I know. Personally. That, that's, that's the out of game bug is just in Thanks our brains. Thanks for covering. Uh, for me. I appreciate it. I normally have music playing when I play this one. And I'm like, yeah. well, I don't want both. The in game music, I will say for Stormgate, I don't care if you love or hate this game. The, uh, the music, music is so good. good. It's so the good. music is so yeah. good. Yeah, you you, there, you can't say a, a word about the music. I don't care yeah. who you are. Unless the word is good, then you can then you yeah. can say that word. Snuck's okay, here, moving man. around to the top side here. Maybe going to try to harass. Looks like he Ooh. might have been looking for that base. Might be able to get this Vulcan, yeah, and Vulcan. he is indeed. Oh, he, he does, does shield it. Yeah, shielded to buy time for the rest of the units to show up. First of all, trying to miasma. come in here. Oh, the miasma. The oh. miasma. The shroud stone. Look at how many Hexans are here fighting with this. But this Vulcan has lived for so long. More miasmas going down as Snockstar ta takes the fight to Percival. No Magmadons. There's so few Brutes. But look at how many Hexans. Oh. There's just so many of and them. And that miasma this just Vulcan zoning crush through, out though. of his own base right now. The Fiend's going to dive in. The Bobs will overcharge. And I think they win that fight with the overcharge uh, in that base. First of all, still looking for a way, but look at the miasma. It just fully surrounds this army. Yeah, fully surrounded. This Vulcan, I think, is going to die. It does go down, unfortunately, from the infest. The 1% tick there. Oh. I mean, Percival holds. And honestly, this, this looks like it ended up better than I had expected it to. There was a lot of zoning with the miasma, but I think the Exos were able to pick off some of the extra units. The Fiends went in for some harass and didn't really get anything done there. Snockstar yeah, keep is in mind back. here. Keep, keep, Snockstar is up a full base. He's got a fourth base up and running. Ooh. Percival still only on three. And this is, I feel like, the crux of the issue when it comes to Infernal versus Vanguard. Is Snockstar's army is just going to keep getting better as he gets to the Elder Shrine. He can get the Flayed Dragon. He can get the Hellborn upgrades. He can get the Brood upgrades. There's tier three Magmadon upgrades. Percival's army, where does it go from here? It's just going to be, you know, marginally stronger as the game continues. He might have to do something like some Atlas drops. He's trying to contest for this camp here, but there's just so much more here for Snark Star, dude. Yeah, Percival's supply is the same, but I do not see it reflected in this fight right now. There is a lot on the field for Snark Star, and Percival Look is having at how a much really damage. tough time. My God, Vulcans just melt to my asthma, man. Yeah, that Miasma has been so, so key. Even just zoning the army out, forcing yeah. Percival to keep microing out of it. It's time that army is not doing damage. Yeah, I mean, the Miasma is truly the crux of Snockstar's force here. The rest of his army is honestly terrible. I mean, it's gaunts and brutes, man. Like, those don't do anything versus... Oh, and the Venom Traps triggering oh. on those Exos. Just to add insult to injury. They're so low HP and these miasmas are pushing them forward. The fiends start to pop. Oh my God. And oh my personal God. supply starting to plummet here. Plummeting. Snogstar taking a almost 30 supply lead at the moment. There is an Atlas out. Trying to go for some there cheesy is he Atlas gonna do drops. For some drop play. Okay. This is the one thing I said. Percival might be able to do this to try to get back into this game here. If he can actually micro onto these Hexen, but there's so many Hexen. I mean, the current meta for Infernal versus Vanguard is literally to make like 20 Hexen, man. And I'm there are the Shadow he Flyers. He certainly does have those. The Shadow Flyers coming in. Oh, at the perfect time for Snockstar right yeah. now to send that dropship back. Oh, no. He accidentally shielded the Repairomatic instead of the Evac. Oh, no. So he no. loses the Evac to the Shadow Flyer there. And now this the Atlas is going to get in. stuck. Uh. And I feel like this is the beginning of the end of game number one. Snockstar yeah, I mean, the taking Mike out this base. Looking very good for our Infernal player. Looking great so far. Yeah, looking really good for Infernal right here. I mean, maybe you hold here just because there's so many units attacking. But those Atlases are going down. Miasma does an insane amount of damage to those Atlases, man. Higher HP a unit has, the more armor, the more effective that Miasma is going to be. And we can see exactly why Snockstar is just in his element here. GG gets called from Percival, and Snockstar takes game number one. Oh, right as the dragon comes in too. <laughs> right, right as that GG hit, the flayed dragon just flew through the screen as if to, yeah. to say, yep.
I have insulted the game, injury. The game is over. Yeah, I mean, again, truly, I feel that this matchup right now. Um, sorry, let me actually just get this next game going because yeah, I it. forgot that I am the one. You that are. Heels, heels, standing out. Tournament admin here. Tournament Hosting admin, guys, make way for the TA. That's me. <laughs> That's me. They, they call him the administrator. <laughs> they call me the administrator. They do. They do. Why? Because I administer. That's right. That's right. Justice. Administrator? I hardly know her. <laughs> it's like the classic clown voice. <laughs> administrator? What I just met her. It's like goofy clown voice number one from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab some water here as we... Make sure you leave slot, you son of a gun. Oh, I don't, how do I do that? I hit the leave slot button. Good call. Good call. I should probably make... I can't actually kick people out. Who is this? I don't know who it is. I have no idea. Oh, they started. All right. All right. I'm going to grab water they're, real they're quick. Lobby. I you... should probably make these lobbies private. That's maybe a good idea for the future. Well, <clears throat> they could have also joined from the Discord, theoretically. I, yeah, you're right. That is... Fucking a true. Anyways, I will go ahead and introduce our players here in the top right corner of the map on Titan's Causeway. It is Percival. And up one to zero. Spawning in the bottom left hand corner. Oh, thank you. Sorry. I will, I will see it. Seen it. Seen it. Yep. You didn't miss anything. Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. It is Aftermath's own Snockstar. Wow. Wow. What the heck? What? What the hey? There's an imp in the middle of the map. Oh. What? Uh, what's it doing up there? Uh, it's going to try to get this luminite. Uh, it's going to do it on its own. Oh, my God. He's going to meat farm it. He's meat farming it. So he's going to start there. Oh. Ooh, okay. Snocks wow. are hitting us with the strats right now. Yeah, dude. And, and I don't think Percival saw this because I have to imagine if he saw that he was going for that, he would be running there immediately. Yeah, we'll see if he sends a dog nearby to see if anything's going he on. He kind of scouted but... with a dog already, to be honest. So I don't, yeah. I actually don't think. Dude, it's Noxtar just eating every one of those charges. It doesn't really matter because you actually want to split your brutes anyways. Um, so that you get the extra animus. I'm very curious to see this strategy happening here in the middle. I think he's intentionally waiting for three fell hogs to spawn. One of those do spawn every 20 seconds. And he's immediately, he's going to run there now. All of these fiends. Oh, and he's Ooh, broken he, down wait, a what tree the on this side too. He's going to find what the this heck? Lancer super low and just die what? for it. This is insane. <laughs> the strategies this is wild oh this is crazy all right he's gonna get one lancer the other one oh it gets oh, hit with the skull oh my he god he's too. gonna jump on top of these lancers there's no tier two so he can't promote these lancers keep in mind and for percival they just come out of nowhere materializing from behind his army i mean to run through normally would take you so much longer yeah but clearing it with that amp right at the start. Oh my god. Dude, his Hexen is so stuck in the middle of the map, though. Is he it? cannot figure it out. Oh, no. Oh, this he's like, this Hexen oh, is struggle no, busting it right now. I think he right clicked the center. I think, I think he think did. I think he hit the tower yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to start engaging against this speed camp here. He doesn't have any energy, so he did. It somewhere and I actually don't know where he used uh, he it. He used it on the the Lancer and the dog. Oh, okay. To get extra fiends out when he killed them. Nice. Oh, and he gets that last Shadow Mastiff there. Snockstar being so mean to Percival yeah, here. Yeah, he is just bullying him right now. He's going to try to take this health camp, but the Lancers will come over and they say yeah. no. They say no to that. So I actually think this meat farm in the middle is just... I think he wanted to sp to clear these trees, and that was the primary thing he wanted to achieve. And this meat farm oh. in the middle is just 
It's just because he, like he needs it anyways, and the imp is way out in the middle yeah. of the map. Just put it there. And you can use it. I mean, again, once he goes for this Illuminite camp, like he will be able to use the the, the yeah. meat farm to tank, the fell hogs to help DPS. Like it's not a bad idea at all. That's kind of cute. Hold on, let me get my notebook. Yeah, yeah, I'll go write that down. <laughs> write that down, write that down. Write that down, write that down, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> I have my signed frost giant notebook over here. I can start writing builds down. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Listen, I visited Frost Giant three times. Yeah. I don't have no sign notebook. Well, I mean, listen, <laughs> we all have our things, okay? Some yeah, of us I are do. good at the game. Some of us shirt. have a notebook. <laughs> well, what do I? What do I have? You're good at the game. No, that's, that's you. not me. <laughs> that's you, no, bud. That's not me. You're on oh, that leaderboard. I've seen it. Uh oh, Percival. He's actually clearing the trees with the bomb that there's already a path clear. There's a, there's a meat farm here. Yeah, he's coming oh, in. Oh, this is so oh, weird. This is awkward. Okay. What is happening? I think this is better for Percival. I mean, I have to imagine. Yo, what the heck? Okay, there's this a is an all out. of roots coming in right now. There it is, though. I mean, these hey, the camp are here. does get killed. The camp is dead very contested at the moment i think percival wins this fight though so i don't disagree for you that does mean that this meat farm is now dead and the luminite is going to percival who again does not have a base no he's <laughs> I, i'm getting a comment that we haven't seen his base there's nothing to see yeah he's got <laughs> barracks he's got base? a biokinetics lab yep. it's there's nothing That's there it. man this is, look at him go <laughs> he's yeah, got he's 11 gonna bobs now Oh, there you go. That's about it. There he so goes. I don't know. I, I wish we could have seen who got the advantage there um, because it really came down to who killed that last, those creeps, right? Like, I, I don't know who killed them. I think Snockstar did, but an Exo could have yeah, gotten a snipe off or something. Hard to say. Yeah, Percival built a base. We're entering the late game, guys. I know. We're we're <laughs> entering the late game now. Well, this is late game for uh, for Vanguard is just Exos, so yeah, we're already there. That's true. Late game tech is here. That is true. He's made it already. Now let's see the ritual chamber back at home. Plague axes is on yes, the way. Already over half. That's going to be a nice little upgrade as both players just out here clearing camps. Mm, good point. Percival's Lancer did level up when the big creep died, so it, maybe Percival oh, got it, actually. I mean, if he that's got a pretty that big swing yeah. and is holding the Luminite Tower, like, that's huge. That is huge. I think if there's a situation where you're going to be able to to win it as Vanguard, it's it's got to be this one where you win the center of the map. You're holding the Luminite uh, tower for so long. We'll see, though. Yeah, this is like we'll the, see. <laughs> one of the first times I feel like we're on relatively even economies here. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. It's just gonna be good for Percival, who I feel like was doing pretty well consistently in these games so far, just without expanding at all, just on one base. So. Yeah, one thing that is so interesting to me, and I think this is honestly our StarCraft II bias is I think you can stay on low bases for a lot longer than we're giving yeah. people credit for. Yeah, it's very like, true. Obviously, we're seeing, like, Snockstar has not gone up to a third. Percival is actually going to expand before, which is oh insane. Oh, my God. And the meat farm and is going to scout here. it. That's... It's going to scout it. Look at that. He scouted it. Oh, wait, hold on. Snockstar oh, wait, does have I'm, a third. I'm wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah I just saw it. I didn't, I'm like, I didn't realize that either. That? Yeah. Oh, so... I thought for sure... It was the bottom right corner base was getting me taken. <laughs> and nope, oh, it's the top left top one. Left. I guess it's just easier to defend. That well, would be my guess. I mean, That's why we're taking it. Now that Percival's expanding over there too, he's going to be able to be aggressive. He's got his first mm. Magmadon out uh, and he's just going to try to dive through here. Percival though, and he does. he's going to spot this. A couple of Lancers and a few Exos. I mean, oh, he doesn't oh, necessarily know that yeah this is like fights happening in four different spots here yeah this is crazy awkward as exos are trying to percival, dive into the main uh and they're gonna do a great yeah. job here but percival is taking maybe not the best fight in the middle of the map yeah i feel like actually snocks are kind of winning on all fronts there 
Now, Percival is now in the imp line of the third base. Um, so he will see. Okay, that base has been taken. He is microing his exos on Snoxar's side of the map. How can one man micro so I, many uh, units in so many different places at the same time? He's like doing veterancy and stuff too. This it's kind is of insane. bullshit. It's, it's this ridiculous. is insane. This is a this Korean is, Terran right here. This is how yeah. Blue War players felt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally went back and forth and I'm like, wait, he's microing both he's, of those sides. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's just, <laughs> yeah. have you ever tried just doing it? Because it I'm, seems to be working No, for apparently him. not. Because yeah. I've not done it. So there you go. Well, there is a Vulcan out as well. Going to help hold the line here down at the speed camp for now. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see. Back at home here. More barracks is going down, but a third fight happening. At Percival's base, there's a Magmadon going to try to go in oh here, and it is going to get God. some big damage oh, done. that's some nice stomping forward. It does get taken out. And these Vulcans yeah, are the still gun line back around. here, though. Yeah, the, the gun line is huge. Another Magmadon comes in, trying to get on top of these Vulcans. He will get one. Yeah, there's enough Exos to clear this. I mean, I at know. first it looked okay for Percival, but now there's just so many Gaunts and there's really only Exos left. This last Vulcan, oh a Magadon God. comes in and starts to stomp on him, though. Yeah, I think he doesn't Snockstar, even have my asthma, man. He doesn't have your asthma. <laughs> he doesn't have <laughs> asthma. And uh, Percival also doesn't have an army. He doesn't have a third base here shortly. Yeah. And that's going to be GG. Snockstar. That's GG. Is gonna Takes take it 2-0? Oh, oh my god. Over Percival. That one was him. The Infernal Apologists, bro. He didn't even make my asthma. No. Oh. He's like, I don't need the, the, that key. Wow. That key ability. Don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> Can the developers, if they're watching, just don't watch these games. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs>